Hi everyone, Liz here with Garden Happy and welcome to the third edition of my new garden series, Getting Ready for Spring. <laughs> In today's video, I'm going to take you to the dollar store and show you how you can start your spring garden without spending hardly any money at all. Hi! Now a lot of people don't realize this, but the dollar store sells a ton of gardening supplies. Check out these gloves. I have some myself and I absolutely love them. On the back, there, there's these like little rubber grip thingies. And they're great for carrying heavy items or just holding your shovel. I love my garden gloves. I have a ton of pairs. And some of these even have plastic on the back. But they come in so many pretty colors as well. Look at you could get good gardening gloves for only a dollar twenty-five. Such a great deal. And check out all the seeds. Word of advice, dollar store seeds sell really, really quick. So you have to rush and get them now. You can get four packs of seeds for a dollar. If you were to get this at Home Depot or one of those garden center stores, this would be like three dollars. You can get... And right now, winter is the best time to plant cabbage. There's quite a few of them in there. 25 cents for all these cabbage seeds. And also beets. This is another cool season vegetable. That is such an awesome deal, 25 cents. So you can start all of your seeds without spending a lot of money. And here's all the little pots you can use. I mean, of course you can use solo cups or the egg cartons. You can put all of your seeds in these little teeny pots. I don't see a price on them, but I know they're not more than $1.25. Oh, this is so cute, check this out. This is one of those stackable, and then I think you stack them and put them sideways like this. This is great for saving space. Look at how cute that is. I mean, you've seen the larger ones, right? I think that would be really cute to mix the colors, the orange with the green and the white. This is a great way to start your seeds if you don't have a lot of space, like me. I think I actually might get these. How cute. Sold to the lady with the crazy hat. <laughs> they have bigger ones. Oh my goodness. They have bigger ones. But I think these little ones are kind of cute. These don't take up a lot of room. So for starting seeds, I kind of like these. But that's good to know they do have bigger ones. Okay, so I put one of them together just to show you. Isn't that just adorable? I love all the colors. And they even have those cocoa peat liners. So you don't have to get them at the big box store when they sell them here. Now I will be very honest with you, do not buy your pruner here at the Dollar Tree. I bought one of these for a dollar and it didn't last very long at all. But Dollar General, they are more sturdy. Now I do have a couple garden shovels and I love them. This would be great for planting bulbs. That's a really nice sturdy feel. So for a dollar twenty-five, that's awesome. And the little rakey things. So you can get garden tools at the dollar store as well for only a dollar twenty-five. And for those of you who like making fairy gardens, they even have these cute little fairy garden figurines. I know these can be very, very expensive. I mean, I've seen little houses sell for like 20 and $30. And like the sign says, grab them before they're gone because trust me, these things will be gone in no time. Cute little gnomes and butterflies and little tin figures to put in your pots just for fun. Huh, they even have some citronella incense sticks to keep the mosquitoes away. 
So you see, the dollar stores really have a lot of stuff for your garden. You don't need to spend a lot of money to start your spring garden with the prices of groceries and gas. I hope this gives you some encouragement so you don't feel so discouraged this spring when you're thinking to yourself, man, it's gonna cost so much money to start a garden. It doesn't have to. And in case you're wondering about soil, yup, the dollar store sells soil too. Each bag is only $1.25. You can just pick up a little bag of soil and fill those little pots. And look at the little solar lights. Now I have these myself so I can vouch for them. I put these in my walkway every single year and I love them. They last for about two years. For me, they do anyway. That's such a great deal. I love my cheapy solar lights. Now here's something else I want to show you. If you're growing lettuce or anything that you don't want the birds to get, you can just get one of these little baskets and put it upside down. That way the light can still go inside but the birds can't get them. So you don't need to go to the nurseries and buy all these expensive bird guards. Go to the dollar store and there you go. And yes, they come in black as well. Now you know where I get all my garden hats. <laughs> I either get them at the dollar store or the thrift store. This is really cute. Sometimes I'll take off this little scarf and I'll put my own around it. Hmm, I think I might get this black one. Maybe I'll get two. They're only a dollar. Why not? So for those of you who don't want to spend the money on all those fancy schmancy seed starting trays, this is for you. I did this last year before I started my YouTube channel and just loved it. I bought these little aluminum cooking trays and they even come with lids. I can't take this off, but take my word for it. They come with lids and that's only $1.25. This is another great way to start seeds. You can get all different shapes and sizes. And like I said, they come with lids. Oh wow, I found some more solar lights. I have never seen these before. These are like little spotlights. Imagine those like pointing toward your roses or that shrub in your garden that you want to accentuate and feature. These are cute. Little solar spotlights. And for those of you who use these Fertilizer sticks, yep, they sell them here too, but they definitely run out quick. So now I'm at a different dollar store. You will discover that different dollar stores carry different kinds of merchandise. Some better than others, they're all different. Look at these little herb gardens. Now these are three dollars each, but they're still really cute. I guess there's, it's a complete growing kit. And they also have these wire, wild flower. They're like little pieces of cloth that you put in your dirt. And then when you water them, the seeds grow. Very different here in this store. Like I said, they're all so different. Check out these cute bird houses. They are $5 each, but they're still cheaper than if you were to buy these at the nursery. That is so cute. This store sells a lot of seat cushions. I actually bought these for my garden bench in my yard. They're $18 each, but they're those really long ones. So this store has some bird feed. Five dollars is actually a really good price considering there is no fillers in this blend. I've gotten bird seed from here before. And you know different times of season there's different birds and maybe you don't want to spend twenty dollars on a giant bag. You just want to get a little bag for those seasonal birds and then switch it up. And they also have little hummingbird feeders. 
and I notice that they're six dollars each still cheaper than if you were to get them at the big box store these are so cute look at that a little frog with a flower I love frogs and this store also sells a lot of little gnomes and fairy garden figurines oh and these are only a dollar you know a lot of people are starting fairy gardens but like I said some of the figurines are so expensive so if you wanted to start a fairy garden you could still make that possible on a budget here's some potting soil the other store had it for a dollar of course it was smaller but still okay and they have solar lights here too oh this is a watering bowl this isn't a solar light at all so i guess you fill it up with water then you stick it in the ground and your plant sucks out the water when the dirt becomes dry but if i got these my dog rosie she would think they're toys all those would be in her dog house Oh, and look what I just found. Some pruners for $6. And those have a really nice grip to them. Those feel really solid. They even sell landscape fabric. Little spray bottles for a dollar. And these little pump bottles if you're spraying for insects or whatever you need those little pump bottles for. And then here's some more of those seeds that are put in fabric. You just lay it out in your dirt, and you water it, and they grow. So it just goes to show you that you can still start your spring garden without spending a ton of money. I'm home now, and I planted my seeds in this one, and I'm gonna put strawberries in this one. Well, I hope you found this video fun and helpful. Thanks for watching.